Hey Cap, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. The message um, could be for you. So feel free to take it however resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to... Oh, is that the one? Very interesting. Okay, I am going to take that. Uh, oh, if you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, uh, my website is linked down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up or anything like that. Um, you can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. You, oh yes, I just post more things on quantum physics, crazy things that I play around with alchemically over there. So, if you decide to jump over, just know that occasionally I get scammers. So your first red flag is if you get a follow request from an account posing to be me. If that happens, you can check down below in the description box for all my social media links. I have nothing other than what's listed below. And I will never DM you for personal readings, money, or donations of any kind. You can just like, the only place you can even access my services is through my website, which is also linked down below. So if anything like that pops up, please report and block. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. So here's what might be coming up a little bit. Some of you guys might be dealing with possibly an older female or there's just that in the mix. Some of you guys could be that and there, there's just definitely three people. It's interesting that I pulled that. But we have the Queen of Cups and the Empress and then the Fool card, okay? Yeah, the Fool card could be a new leap or a new chapter. This is like a new beginning. Free spirit, very optimistic, spontaneous, trust, all right? Hmm. Okay, so here's what might be coming up in this connection. I feel as though intuitively you could be picking up on a lot with in regards to some type of feminine energy here, okay? Um, the Empress card, like I said, it could be, some of you guys are either dealing with your mother or some, some type of nurturing energy. This person, of course, can be a person who owns a business. They could be a mother, older or younger. That's why I was saying, try to, yeah, see where it applies to your situation. Okay. What's been happening here emotionally? What, because every time the Queen of Cups comes in, I have to apply some kind of empathingness, okay? The end. So quantum tunneling transference. If there was an interaction or some kind of emotional bond that has taken place, entanglement, right? Entanglement is when two quantum entities come together and both of you are made up of atoms, <laughs> okay? Seven times 10 to the 27th on average-ish. So when you interacted with this person, there could have been an exchange that happened. And right now there are certain dynamics and things that are popping up. And I feel like it's maybe a titch more of a psychological nature. So you could be dealing with uh, two types of versions of yourself because like, and there might be a little bit of shifting back and forth that's happening even within yourself, within you and this person. So someone here there's like a reverting back and forth. If you had a mother that like was very strict or critical of your appearance or your image or anything like that, or if you had a mother that withdrew their love, nurturing and attention as punishment because of whatever was internally going on, that's what this kind of feels like to me. So there could have been, there could be something here with boundaries that are going on because every time this, this Empress card comes in, it can always talk about that you're dumping a lot of self care into yourself. And the fool card is like, okay, this is why I love this because the fool card is saying 
things are like you cannot see something is blindfolded here as far and so it's more like intuitively picking up on things and that's kind of what happens here it almost feels like a person there's like guessing games or so it's like when you're dealing with a person you might have to revert into like a different sense not letting your mind take over because that will be pointless it's like you're gonna have to use your intuition to be able to navigate a person or a situation or what's going on with them because someone maybe there's something going on here we have flexibility yeah I mean that's typically that can be the empress and the queen of cups but for some reason I'm getting a bit of rigidity on one side maybe that's even fluctuating here where there can be like flexibility and rigidity it kind of merges back and forth in some way at times there could be compassion but then on another side of things there feels like maybe a different part like a part of your mother if your mother was narcissistic in any way that can still be kind of like coming in as a self-expression okay like some of those old paradigms might be playing out that you're trying to like shift into some freedom from and there's the allowing. Wow. This is really crazy because, wow. Flexibility and allowing, both of them are flow state. And this could be a new chapter that is popping up here. There could be a person here that's working on allowing and an energy right here, Queen of Cups, I'm just going to say it. Queen of Cups is way flexible. <laughs> okay. Fluid. Th this is a typical Pisces or Cancer energy. Like just goes with the flow. It's a very water sign energy. It could be a Scorpio too. But hilarious. Okay. Let's dive into the cards here. So there's some type of new chapter that's starting up somehow with this. Okay. We have the eight of wands, so there could be messages, or there's just, just like a lot of maybe communications, possibly over social media. We have the tower, yeah. This is unexpected communications. Oh, the star card. Okay, this is nice. This is Aquarius energy, so there's healing. Is this okay so that's what I was talking about isn't it funny I was saying that eight of swords okay this can be CPTSD this can be overthinking this can be feeling trapped by thoughts like and I wonder if there's something here about a connection where there's whenever you think something your mind goes into possibly some negativity and it hurts really bad because maybe you're imagining the worst of a person or a situation or that or someone's intentions but there's like the tower card it's like unexpected communications or postings here we have what is this oh the knight of cups <laughs> these cards are so adorable okay so we have fertility tonic that's so <laughs> that's so funny okay fascinating that the empress is coming in i don't know how to feel about that that could be a person here like is there something about someone getting pregnant because there's something here about fertility two four six eight <laughs> I have to check that okay we have the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles interesting why am i hearing frida Kahlo? okay this feels like a frida situation i don't know why i just said that okay you guys should watch that movie it's actually really good but that just popped out random side message okay um yeah i'm gonna say this really quick there could be an energy that's coming forward 
for some of you guys that are still fertile, the I hate doing this message. It's such a repeated message, but if you do want to get pregnant, great. If you are not wanting to, be cautious because that it's possible that could be someone that's coming in. There could be a romantic interest that's coming in here somehow. There's a big emphasis on water signs. Huge emphasis on water signs. All right. Um, this Eight of Swords is the only caution here. Okay. I think possibly... I think that what could be happening right now is like there's a challenge of maybe someone being flexible to a new shift and change that is coming in here. There could be a new energy that's coming in and um, there's a person that, yeah, is very much involved in their self-care but might get super up in their head or afraid of maybe someone's intentions. There's the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. I do think that there's potential, like someone could be wanting to build something financially or build a foundation in some way. Not the worst thing. Like some of you guys, if you are doing some work, if you're very involved in your self-care right now or going to a specific place or location to try to heal yourself, it's possible you might see someone or meet someone that is like interested in you in some capacity, but you might... I don't know, like just there's some overthinking or feeling trapped in some way by a certain situation to be able to allow this to come in. And maybe it's that someone else is a factor here. Like, because there could, this tower was like a message or a communication that could have been very shocking or it like, like... I don't know, changed a situation quickly. And then the star card, the Aquarius energy, it was very healing. Whatever this combination is, the star card is like a very, this is like healing communication. So if you are having communications with someone, maybe they're like phone calls or things that are being made. There's, it's possible that there's things that you're hearing about that are kind of like, oh my gosh, kind of shocking news. But the star card is almost like an energy that soothes it right after. It's positive. It's very like good intentions along the side of it. Okay. It's like very fascinating combo, but I feel like some type of, I don't know what this is talking about. feels like there's a new, things are going to be structured in a very different way. There's a foundation that's being built. Some of you guys could be very much so focused on building your, a business or like restructuring things because this eight of swords, it can also magnify like gaps in whatever you were building. So if there were, if there were flaws or in your organization, it just feels like that you're restructuring things right now and just working on projects or, or like establishing or working on producing something right now. Empress produces stuff. So yeah. Let me dive into the extended cap. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But cap, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.